Baker, Yoro, corner, three. Krishnan, yes! There's a corner triple, oh my. Krishnan now four for four. Driving, outlaw, kicking, three right wing, yes! And the flash! They've been punched in the mouth here in the first half. It's a 20 point lead. Gotta circle the wagons here as Joe Vesneski was wont to say. Shot clock at seven, and Isaiah takes it away! Out in front, reverse! There you go. Flag, get out of his way, get out of his way. Isolates on the left block. Inside, left hand, yes! Five minute mark, second half. Near takeaway, now he does get it. Ramir, send it in! Dixon caught over in double digits. A lot of heart by the flash here tonight. I guess it's why you play a 40 minute basketball game because the first 20 minutes we were about as bad as we've been all year. I mean, we didn't play basketball the way it was supposed to be played. You know, we, we were trying to hit home runs, one pass shot, contested jump shots, you know, trying to drive over top of three people. And you can't win basketball games that way. You know, defensively, we put some stuff, you know, on the board at, at halftime, um, you know, and, and things we're trying to take away from the other team. And we did the opposite of all of those. Draws the double, kick it out, three, Dixon caught over, yes! I'll tell you what, Pat. The, the guy to my left and the guy to my right, you know, I, a lot of credit. I mean, two guys that got inserted to the lineup for different reasons. Um, you know, you know, Ramir, big time shots down the stretch. 73 all, another three, he bakes it home! Tonight it was neat to see him make some shots and, and play with that kind of confidence. He's a talented basketball player, and I'm glad the people at DeGaul got to see that because he's been doing it in practice, and you know he's been doing it in games for us too. But to have, have that moment on this stage is a credit to him. And Mark, you know, the, the game that he had and the confidence that he played with, you know, the ability to score around the basket is important for us. You know. uh, I was just feeling good. Um, I just had to be aggressive. I seen that they was kind of playing off my side a little bit, so I just had to make sure I just knocked down the shots when I was open. Put me in the starting lineup, of course. Um, gave me confidence as well. And uh, just coming out here, I mean, my performance, I, I care about the win more than my own performance. And I just, I'm glad that I was able to contribute to the win. The other kid that I thought gave us a huge lift was A.J. Labriola. A.J. Labriola played five minutes in the first half and had one rebound. I yelled at him for not shooting a three in the corner, but you know, those five minutes allowed us to give Ramir a little bit of a breather and give Keith, a little bit of a breather, you know, so that those guys could finish out the game. Well, Rob said sometimes lessons are learned after tough losses. Sometimes you find out what your team's made of. After our, our New York trip, these guys had a meeting. And one of the things that they did, they recommended some things defensively and tactically, but also talked about our second half warm up and how we could come out with a little bit more of an edge. And I thought those guys did that. And I thought Eric, did a great job, Coach Taylor did a great job of, I don't know what he said in the huddle you know, afterwards, but I know he raised his voice a little bit and, and challenged them. Um, but you know, at, the, at the same time, these guys you know, understand what's at stake, and, and we told them we weren't going to get a 20-point play. You know, we had to get one media at a time, and I thought these guys did a great job with that. When you lose three in a row, it's kind of like easy to just for the players to go their separate ways and just be selfish. But we had meetings, just players, and then we just – we, we saw what we needed to fix, and that's what we did. Performance came from uh, working out with Coach T. I mean, he's great. He's a great coach, great skill work. I mean, he puts, he, he like puts something in you that just makes you want to go out there and just, I don't know what it is. The yelling or, he's the nicest guy ever, but basketball wise, like, he, can, he can get under your skin and make you, make you uh, play your best. You know, one thing that this group will do and has done all year, whether we're, you know, down guys for reasons or we're down in games, they will continue to battle. They don't stop battling. They have an unbelievable grit about them to be able to continue to move forward and, and, and concentrate on, you know, what's important.